Bienvenidos, Ushamdi, and welcome. This video is going to be a quick one-off video where I'm going to be reviewing the new egg 16 gig Cisco USB thumb drive. Now, you'll notice that I have a recording over on the right-hand side of the screen here, and it's because I'm actually going to be holding a few objects up in front of the camera. I want to make sure that they stay in focus when I show them to you. So a colleague of mine, Mark Hall, uh, and I were discussing the upgrading of Cisco's newer switches, so the 9300s or even maybe the 3850s. And when you look at the Denali and the Everest releases, those downloads now are closing in on 600 megabytes in size. And so we were talking about the Cisco USB thumb drive. So let me show you. So this is the thumb drive that you can get from Cisco when you order a router or you can order it as a spare. Now, if you order that one gig thumb drive that I just showed you as a spare, which means you're not ordering it with a router or some, some other Cisco component, the list price on that is $975. Now, if you order it with hardware, it's only about $100 to $150 cheaper. I think it's $850 to get a one gig, again, one gigabyte USB thumb drive onto which you could place Cisco IOSs. In other words, if you wanted to upgrade one of your routers or you wanted to upgrade a switch, right? It's much quicker to use a thumb drive than it is to TFTP the file. And again, obviously you'll need physical access to the component to make that happen, but in cases where you have physical access, there's no question it's quicker to get it off of a USB stick. So anyway, uh, my friend Mark went out and found on Newegg what you see here on the screen, which is this 16 gig USB stick. Now, you'll notice that the price of the 16 gig USB stick is $88. So obviously this raised a few red flags for me. I was thinking to myself, how is it possible that I could get 16 times the storage space in a single USB thumb drive that I could then use to put my Cisco IOSs on there for my ISR G2s, maybe for my 9300 switches, my catalysts. Uh, it could even be for your ASA 5506X firewalls, right? Your X line of firewalls. And so I figured, okay, I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll pay the $88, and it worked out to right around about $100 after tax and shipping and all of that. And so I've actually just inserted it into a Cisco 3945 router. And so I want to hold up again, and let me bring back uh, to the fore here so make sure we stay in focus. So this is the package that showed up. And that's the part number there. So it looks really legit. Now, the first thing I noticed was that it said UCS on the package. So I looked at that before I took it out of the package and I said, well, maybe this is not gonna work. Maybe this is only going to work on UCS boxes. So let's check it out. So let me jump to the command line here. And here we are, and you can see I inserted the USB flash drive and it pops up as USB flash zero. And again, this is on the back of a Cisco 3945. So let's see what happens here. So let me get logged in, ABC123. And so again, this is a 3945 router. And I think I'm currently running 1573M3. Again, that's the latest and greatest for the ISR G2s for this router. So let's go ahead and say dir USB flash zero colon. Now let's see if the router can even read the USB stick. And it absolutely can read the USB stick. So now let me go ahead and see if I can copy. And again, I already have this iOS uh, on this router. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, we'll delete it out here. So I'm just going to say delete. And oh, actually, I've got the 2900. So here, we'll do this. We'll just copy it over. So we'll say copy USB flash zero colon. And we're going to grab the 2900. And we're going to drop that into flash. So let's see. I can read it. Can I copy off of it? And we'll drop it in there. And it says not enough space on the device. So I'm going to get rid of the 15.6 code here, which I don't need. 
and I apologize. And let's get rid of that and we'll confirm it. There we go. And now we'll go back and we'll rerun that copy. And there you go. So it looks as if this $88, 16 gigabyte in size, USB thumb drive from Newegg uh, is just as good as the first USB thumb drive that I showed you, which was one gig in size and about 10 times, well, I guess we'll be fair, about nine times the price. So it's copying this file over, it's working great here. So here's what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy over onto this USB the, the Newegg 16 gig USB flash uh, or thumb drive, I'm gonna copy uh, the latest and greatest ASA 5506X software. And then let's see if an ASA 5506X can read and copy and we can use this uh, thumb drive with the firewall. So let me go ahead and pause here real quick because I've got to get up, remove the stick from the back of the 3945 and I'm actually going to show you the transfer here off the desktop. And I'll show you what it shows up as in Finder. And again, I'm doing this on a Macintosh. So I'm going to pause. And then when I come back, we're going to copy that ASA file over onto this 16 gig USB thumb drive and see if it'll work with our firewalls. So we'll be right back. All right, so I just removed the USB flash stick and you can see right here, we received a message saying that it had been removed. Let me go ahead and check and let's make sure that it copied over that 2900 image and there it is. And that's actually the full image, but I don't need a 2900 image on my 3945. So let's go ahead and delete that out of here. And we've proven that the stick works with the router and let's get rid of that right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and test, but we're gonna test with a Cisco ASA firewall. And I also wanted to show you uh, exactly what this stick looks like. So I'm gonna hold the stick up to the camera here. It is a tiny, and again, very, very small, little 16 gig Cisco USB stick. And what I love about it is this is a light on the back here. So when you plug this in, and I'm gonna to try to see if I can get this USB extension cable I have here. Uh, I'm gonna get try to see if I can get it high enough up to show you uh, how it lights up here. And so I've got this extension. This goes into my iMac Pro. And so here is what you're going to see when you plug it in. And let's see if we can get this in here and see what we got going. And hopefully you'll catch, yeah, you see that it, it lights up and it flashes a nice blue color there. Not the best of focus, I apologize for that. Uh, but again, I've got it plugged into my iMac Pro. So let me come on over here and let's go to the uh, download area. And there's the ASA file that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and say copy. And here it is, it just shows up as USB disk. That's it. So there's that 2900 file, it's still there. Let me go ahead and paste the ASA firewall, uh, the ASA 5506 firewall uh, OS on here. And there it is, and it looks like we've got all 111 megabytes of it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to eject the stick. And as you would imagine, the stick does flash a nice blue color there out of the, uh, uh, the end of it. So it lets you know that it's being accessed. And let me go ahead and remove that. And I'm gonna pause, this will be our last pause here. And in fact, I can kill the video. So this will be our last pause and I'm gonna insert this into the ASA 5506X firewall. And let's see if the firewall can read the file or read the stick and then pull the file into its flash. All right, so I'm gonna pause and we'll be right back. All right, so I've just plugged the USB uh, Newegg 16 gig Cisco thumb drive into the back of the Cisco ASA 5506X firewall. Now, what I thought was interesting is that I did not get a message and the light did flicker blue, so it clearly was trying to access it. I didn't get a message here saying that it had been inserted into the firewall, but let's go ahead and take a look here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's gonna come up as maybe disk one. So let's say, whoops, sorry, dir disk one colon and take a look at that. So 
I put the new egg 16 gig Cisco USB flash drive in the back of that 5506X firewall, and here it is. And you can see that I've got the latest and greatest ASA 992 release 36, which is right here. So the ASA 5506 can read that USB thumb drive. Let's see what we've got right now in our, and yeah, we've got, uh, yeah, we've got some older releases here. It looks like 992, 910, 1. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to delete uh, real quickly here this 992 version because we're going to replace it. And now let's go ahead and say copy disk one colon. We'll grab our new image. We'll copy that over. Oh, I'm sorry. And we'll put that uh, in flash. All right, and there we go. So not only can it read the USB stick, it's able to copy the ASAOS off of that USB stick over onto the ASA firewall. All right, well, that is going to wrap up the video tutorial. And again, the entire purpose of this tutorial is if you're looking for a cost-effective way to get a Cisco-compatible USB thumb drive, that is 16 gigabytes in size. Again, 16 times larger than the $850 or $975 list price uh, thumb drive that's out there. In fact, I even went out to Amazon and there is a seller who's trying to sell, and that is the part number right there for that USB thumb drive from Cisco. That's the actual Cisco part number right there. They are trying to sell it for $1,100, one gig, $1,100. Well, my recommendation would be to get 16 times that size for what's gonna be $100 after tax and shipping and all of that. All right, well, hopefully this is gonna save you some money out there. This is a great stocking stuffer, although it's probably a little bit too late for that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this saves you some money. And hopefully this is going to help you out along the way. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great holiday season and a very, very happy new year.